Hello guys, welcome to the course on Docker Basics. I am Sijesh and this video we will see uh, more details about Docker volume. So by default all the files will be stored inside the Docker container and when we terminate the container everything will go. And also if you want to uh, store some data persistently there are different ways to do that and one is volume and the second is uh, bind mount. In this video we will see how to use docker volume to share or uh, transfer files from one container to another. So first uh, we will create, see how to create a volume or how to manage volume. Just use the command docker volume and enter and you will get all the different options that you can use along with this command. So ls command list all the containers and inspect will give a detailed information about the one or more volume and uh, create for creating a new volume prune means if any volume which is uh, not associated uh, to any of the container then it will uh, remove rm is for removing so let's create a container i, I mean first let's uh, create a volume using the command docker volume create whatever the name so let me just create nginx volume okay and uh, let's list that and see uh, the name of the volume now we will see uh, uh, what are the images available so just use the docker image ls i have an nginx image already downloaded so what i'm going to do here is so i'm creating a container for nginx and mounting uh, that nginx uh, directory with this volume uh, so for that just use the command docker run iphone uh, t then iphone d for detachable mode iphone p capital p for port mapping and uh, name of the container nginx1 and uh, the image name or image id I can just use this image name right so this will run a container with the name nginx1 and this is using the image nginx latest and do in a background mode and do a port mapping and I'm doing one more thing here so apart from this uh, just iPhone V for uh, volume mounting just use that volume name and then use slash use user share nginx html so in nginx if you keep some files normally index.html all these files will be under this directory inside the container user share nginx html and that i am mounting with uh, this nginx volume this is the volume docker volume name just go ahead and hit now if you see docker container ls we can see uh, this container is running and uh, this is the port which is mapped to host operating system so let me get the ip address so this is 192.168.56.101 open a browser and uh, what is the port which is mapping it's a 32768 use that port okay just enter you can see this message a welcome message from nginx actually this is from an index.html file which is located inside this directory slash user nginx html so here i have one index.html so which is nothing but the same index.html which I copied from this container and I made some changes like edited by Hadoop engineering and uh, uh, some changes I made so modified message so instead of this welcome and a default one I'm just going to change that index.html by pushing that file into the container so docker container ls so i'm just using docker cp index.html uh, to the container 
nginx1 colon the directory where this index.html is located so that is under usr share nginx html right so this will upload this file to i mean this file is from local machine and upload from the local location to nginx con nginx1 containers this location now if i refresh this page see you can see this is modified message and edited by hadoop engineering so next what i am doing going to do here is okay so like uh, see right now even though we uploaded into the container it's a uh, actually the file is into the docker volume nginx1 so if i create any new container and map this docker volume with slash user share nginx html directory so i will be getting the same message on that container also so let's uh, run the container docker run iphone t iphone uh, D for detachable, P for port mapping, iPhone V, Nginx Vol 1, USR, share, Nginx, slash HTML, then iPhone iPhone name, here I am just using Nginx 2, then Nginx colon latest, that is the image. Now, if I just use the docker container ls, so I have a second container nginx2. For that, the port is 32769. So, if I go to the browser and same IP address, but the port number is 32769, right? You can see now this time we are getting uh, this message okay so this message is from uh, docker volume so let me stop this two container and terminate and create a new container so docker container stop whatever the container id then do that and then i'm just typing rm for removing now if i do docker container ls nothing is there so but if i do docker volume yes that volume is still here now if i uh, create a another container so docker run iphone t iphone d iphone p iphone v nginx slash usr share nginx html then iphone iphone name nginx 3 x colon latest now docker container ls sorry docker container ls i can see this is running and 3 2 double um, double seven zero that is a port where it's running so if i just use three two double seven zero i'm getting uh, this message actually this is the modified one and we saved or uploaded into one of the container but even though we uploaded to the container and it's a uh, saved into slash user share nginx html location but that is mapped with the docker volume and the, we use the same volume so this way we can share the data between the container using the docker volume also we can uh, take the backup from that docker volume i hope this is a very clear and informative so please do try it yourself and if you have any question so please post your queries in the comment section that's it so we'll see in the next video Thank you for watching. Bye.